Well, you know, folks, we're just walking around this Mississauga Walmart store, and it is literally a sea of plastic. Here we have plastic toys wrapped in plastic packaging. What is Walmart Canada going to do about that? Ask the manufacturer to make these dolls out of uh, wood carvings and ship them over in paper bags or something? David Menzies for Rebel News here in Mississauga, Ontario. Well, folks, I'm at the Walmart Canada corporate head office, and I'm here because on this day, Friday, April 22nd, AKA Earth Day, Walmart is no longer dispensing plastic bags. Now, this has nothing to do with logistics or supply chain operation problems. Rather, because it is Earth Day, this is Walmart doing something they think is tangible in terms of saving the planet, i.e. eliminating plastic waste. So it is that Walmart Canada has issued a press release. It reads, Walmart Canada says goodbye to single-use plastic bags. And it's uh, written by Lindsay Flint, Walmart's manager, store process and innovation implementation. And she goes on to say that this is an exciting milestone uh, for Walmart Canada, the elimination of single-use plastic shopping bags. And uh, she says this is a big moment for our associates and our customers. Making this change will help to prevent more than 680 million single-use plastic bags from entering circulation each year. Now, I mean, that does sound kind of impressive, I suppose. But um, what does it do about all the other plasticky stuff on Walmart shelves? We'll swing by a Walmart and check it out because the last, as far as I can tell, most of the merchandise seems to be made out of plastic and it's packaged in plastic packaging. So what about that? Uh, I would suggest plastic bags in that context. It's not the tip of the iceberg. It's the tip of the tip of the iceberg and also if plastic bags are verboten, why isn't Walmart going to give shoppers paper bags? I mean, at least when the LCBO eliminated their plastic bags several years ago, uh, customers can now get paper bags uh, for their products, but that doesn't seem to be on the table here. Rather, Walmart is telling customers to buy their reusable bags. So when you think of it, is this, you know, environmental virtue signaling is this really a profit center for walmart given all the cloth reusable bags they're going to sell and on that note if they really really cared about the environment why isn't this multi-billion dollar conglomerate simply giving plastic bags to their customers as opposed uh, to making them pay a buck and a half or whatever the price is for them. So there's all sorts of questions. And uh, last but not least, the last I checked the Walmart distribution center, um, merchandise was coming in via diesel trucks, 18 wheelers. And um, when you think of it, if we're gonna get rid of the uh, carbon footprint, uh, why don't we have, um, I don't know, horse and buggies bring the goods to market? So there's more questions that pop up from this initiative than are answered, I think. Now, we've been reaching out by phone, by email, to get somebody at Walmart Canada uh, to come on camera. We haven't been successful in doing so, so we're uh, going to make a house call right here to Walmart's Canadian head office and uh, see if someone can, well, explain this initiative. Good. Yeah, my name is David Menzies, and I'm with Rebel News. And I'm, I think the, the appropriate contact is Lindsay Flint. Uh, but I reached out to your media relations uh, website mm -hmm. uh, with a three o'clock deadline request, and I, I haven't heard back. I only had the my email acknowledged, but I didn't hear back from anyone. So I'm wondering if anyone can come on camera about these, uh, you know, this plastic bag uh, ban. Um, so most people are working from home right now. Oh, really? Yeah, like most people aren't even in office. Um, so I'm not 100% sure if we'll even be able to get anyone to talk to you, but I can okay. double check. Just give me a few seconds. Oh, I appreciate okay? that. Thank you. Okay, thanks. We'll be able to give you whatever information you need. Oh, thank you very okay. much. Is she in this office? Or? She works here, but she's not here right now. Oh, so, we're going to have yeah, a home, so, um, Okay. Hi, you make the voicemail of Felicia Pepper, Corporate Affairs of Walmart Canada, PC Domestic, after the Trump. 
Well, you know, folks, we're just walking around this Mississauga Walmart store, and it is literally a sea of plastic. Here we have plastic toys wrapped in plastic packaging. What is Walmart Canada going to do about that? Ask the manufacturer to make these dolls out of uh, wood carvings and ship them over in paper bags or something. And um, even when it comes to, look at this, fresh fruit packaged in plastic, of course. How are you going to package shaving cream if not for the miracle of plastic? Um, bit of mouthwash, the serene. Uh, what are they going to have? Dispensaries? Bring your own cup? Plastic. And you know, have the Greenies really thought this through? I can't help but notice here is a package of condoms and um, ultra thin, no less. But if we get away, get rid of this synthetic, don't you foresee perhaps some accidents happening resulting in population growth? And I thought the green movement was all about curtailing the population. They might want to rethink this plastic ban really quick. I thought you were getting rid of the bags. <laughs> oh, you mean the reusable bags, or? We have reusable bags, sir. Oh, okay. But not the plastic bags? We have plastic bags since August. Since August? Since August, yeah. Wow. Now back to my original question. Would you like any bags? You know what? I'll try carrying it, actually. No That's worries. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, folks, we're here at the Walmart Distribution Center in Mississauga, Ontario. It's one of several across the country. And as you can see behind me, well over 100 18-wheeler trucks lined up with goods to be put into the warehouse and then sent out to the stores. And the thing is, if Walmart is truly committed to the New Green Deal and environmentalism and Earth Day, etc., well, then what about this? I mean, why not eliminate uh, the trucking fleet and, I don't know, bring in the goods via horse and buggy? And don't get me wrong, I have nothing against uh, trucks nor truck drivers. In fact, this scene is making me feel very nostalgic uh, for the good old days in Ottawa. I'm talking the Freedom Convoy. Sorry, Mr. Mayor Jim Watson. But the fact is... If you're going to go green in one element of your business, well, hey, in for a penny, in for a pound, right? But I don't think it is feasible. Bottom line, folks, is this. At the end of the day, Walmart is a private business. They can do what they want, even if they want to take away plastic bags from their customers and not replace them with uh, paper bags. But can we at least have some honesty? Can we at least have some transparency here? Because I think the real reason Walmart is getting rid and has gotten rid of their plastic bags is to make their customers buy reusable cloth bags that start at 30, uh, uh, 35 cents a bag and up to about $2. So is the greening of Walmart really all about coming up with a new profit driving center, i.e. selling reusable bags. I'm going to check to see if Walmart will release how much they've made for the sale, from the sale rather, of their reusable bags come next Earth Day. I think it's going to be a pretty penny. As for me, shopping at Walmart without those plastic bags ain't my bag, man. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies.
Hey folks, before you know it, summer is going to be here, so get ready to have fun in the sun by wearing some of the newest Rebel News merchandise. We've got new t-shirts, sweatshirts, caps, you name it. Wear your politics on your sleeve when it comes to supporting Rebel News and looking quite fashionably as you do so. Please go to rebelnewsstore.com, that's rebelnewsstore.com, and place your order today.